Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Kathy Wesley, uh, the resident teacher at Columbus Karma Tixum Choling, and I'd like to welcome you to the 11.30 a.m. Uh, Sunday Dharma talk. Uh, before we get started uh, with uh, Kathy Lamo's presentation on calling the guru from afar, I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to all of you uh, about the passing this week of uh, the venerable Bardor Toko Rinpoche. Um, he passed away on Thursday in the afternoon. And in fact, uh, at that moment, uh, I was doing a Zoom call with someone uh, in anticipation of today's Amitabha practices, which are going on at KTD. And uh, we, we stopped right then and did some uh, recitation of the Guru Rinpoche seven line supplication for his benefit. Um, there is no way to really talk about uh, Bhartatoka Rinpoche without saying that he was um, instrumental in the creation of Dharma centers around the country in the name of His Holiness Karmapa. He, um, he came to the United States in the 1970s and worked with uh, Kempo Carter Rinpoche and uh, Tenzin Chuni, the first president of KTD, to create um, the Karma Triana Dharma Chakra Monastery. And the impact of that is being felt even today, even through this webcast, this webcast and this center wouldn't exist without the work that these three remarkable people have done. And uh, I remember uh, specifically when uh, Barter Rinpoche was in charge of the um, KTCs for about 15 years uh, in the 1990s, um, he, he gave the Columbus KTC permission to begin the program that now is known as the mentorship program. Uh, he felt that we had the capacity to innovate and he believed in us and he was always encouraging to us to do the very best work we could for the benefit of beings. He cared for us and he gave us many, many empowerments. Uh, I mean, I've personally received many empowerments from him and many teachings from him. And even today I quote teachings from him uh, on a regular basis. His teachings on, uh, that were given on the creation and completion meditation are just excellent. And, uh, and I still use those today as a basis for my own uh, talking about the creation and completion mantra practice. Um, as we know, uh, he's resting in meditation now at his home center in, uh, in his home in upstate New York. And his home center, Kunsong Palchen Ling, will be doing uh, ceremonies for him. The Karma Triana Dharma Chakra Monastery will be doing uh, pujas for him. And at Columbus KTC, we dedicated this morning's Tara practice and Chenrezig practice to him. And his uh, name will be mentioned in the Chenrezig practice for the entirety of the 49 days that are, are the customary period of observation of the passing of, of someone. Um, I remember when Kempo Carter Rinpoche passed away a few years ago, one of the lamas who was in charge of the ceremony said, uh, Rinpoche is a great being and does not need our prayers. However, we, in order to accumulate merit and to meet the mind of the guru, which is more available at this time than any other, uh, this is when we pray. And so I remember many years ago, uh, Bharta Toko Rinpoche um, said that if I wanted to pray for his benefit, that I should recite the seven line supplication of Guru Rinpoche. And this is, um, I think this is very, from my point of view, it's very uh, apt because uh, Bharta Rinpoche is considered to be an emanation of one of the 25 original disciples of Guru Rinpoche. And therefore, um, for the next uh, few weeks, we're going to be reciting the uh, seven line supplication to Guru Rinpoche uh, three times during the Chenrezig Puja. Uh, so I, I hope that you will join me in a recitation of Guru Rinpoche's mantra. Om Ahung Penza Guru Pema Siddhi Hong. Om Ahung Penza Guru Pema Siddhi Hong. Om Ahung Benza Guru Pema Siddhi Hong. So um, I want to thank all of you uh, for being with us this morning. And now um, we're going to uh, switch over. And uh, Kathy Lamo is going to be giving the second part of her presentation on calling the guru from afar. I hope to see you in Puja soon. And thanks very much.